after this first year, so far anyway, Cuomo has emerged as really a terrific politician with the kind of classic skills of a politician. Some may not like that, some may like it. But the point is he's willing to compromise. He will give up some very what seem to be high principles like mm -hmm. the millionaire's tax. Mm -hmm. And in the end, he's got a relationship with the legislature that just hasn't been seen in modern times. And when, if he can hold on to that, he'll be even more successful, I think. And talking about good relationships, he had a great relationship, for the most part, with, with the Senate Republicans, mm -hmm. um, who were big bankers of his. Uh, he got the tax cap, as Casey, you noted. He went out and, uh, to different districts and was introduced by a lot of Republicans. And if you didn't know what party they belonged to, you, you would have thought, thought for sure they would have been Democrats. Uh, John DeFrancisco gave him a glowing one in, in Syracuse. Uh, John Hugh, Bonasek, the uh, John Republican Bonasek. senator, right. joined at the hip with the governor. Hugh, yeah, the, Hugh Farley. Farley yeah. That's right. Dean the Skelos, the, the majority oh, yeah. leader. <laughs> oh, Dean Skelos at the, in, in, in December when they, when they did rework the tax code. I mean, Dean Skelos on the floor of the Senate. I mean, the praise was just effusive, which, of course, uh, looking ahead to next year, to 2012, could present certain difficulties for Cuomo as the head of the state Democratic Party. He is going to be seen as somebody who is, uh, you know, who's going to have to try, or at least is obliged to try, and help the Senate Democrats retake the Senate. That could be very problematic.